Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Motor Man Dan. Today we're going to be talking about the Dwarven Warhammer. It's a physical melee weapon with secondary whirlwind attacks that knocks back enemies and damages enemies. Knocks back and damages enemies. If I could read that sentence correctly. You have to kill 125 enemies with the secondary in order to complete the level upgrades, or the unique upgrades. The unique upgrades is reduced damage while spinning or increased move speed while spinning. The level upgrades are reduced mana costs. Okay. I don't really use this one a whole lot, um, but we'll talk about the reduced damage here in a bit. That's typically what I run, uh, because if I need to move, I'll just stop spinning and then I'll go move somewhere with the sprint mechanic in the game. Um, so I think you get more value for reducing damage, um, because, you know, enemy archers and stuff, they'll, they'll hit you, uh, ranged, and you'll just, you'll be able to survive longer. So you can make your way to them and knock them in your whirlwind. This is a very interesting weapon, and we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways to use it as well after we look at the game files. So let's just jump into the files. So the first thing to talk about that we have is the Dwarven Hammer Attributes. Uh, it attacks one time per second, does 60 damage. A Light Orc on War Mage has 50 health. The secondary damage is 12, and that's the spinning damage. The secondary mana cost is uh, 20, um, although it does drain your mana while you use it. If we go to the weapon protos, here we can see the Dwarven Hammer. Uh, really nothing nothing in the, the weapon protos for it. You know, it's a melee weapon, so there's no... There's, generally, this doesn't have much, other than the secondary ability cooldown is... Uh, doesn't It doesn't have a cooldown, so you can just spam it as much as you want essentially. All right, um, let's look at the upgrade protos. So the first thing we have is, re uh, oh, that's the unique, so let me scroll back up here. We have the secondary mana cost goes down by two, taking it to 18, another two, taking it to 16, another two, taking it to 14 mana cost. Um, pretty decent. I wouldn't necessarily, if I had this ha hammer, I wouldn't necessarily rush it, but Still, um, secondary reduces damage, becomes true, and it uses this damage reduction. We'll take a look at that. And then the increased move speed while spinning uh, becomes true. Both of those are listed in the status effect protos, so you have the speed upgrade. And that shows you that the movement mod value is 25% bonus speed. And then you have this one here, which is the Dwarven Hammer damage reduction. And the damage reduction here is going to be... Ah, okay, so that was a depreciation um, level 1 and 2. I don't know exactly what that means. I didn't even look. Uh, but, so this one is going to be the Dwarven Hammer Damage Reduction Level 4. That's what we want to look for. That's what's here, level 4. And that shows us a value of, of 60%. So that's how much it reduces it by. Um <clears throat> I'm guessing, because I don't remember seeing that before or having any questions before, I'm guessing this level 2 uh, depreciated might have something to do with the um, Reptilian Carapace Trinket, because that trinket also reduces your the damage taken. And so I'm wondering if, if you use it in conjunction with the hammer, if that's what these values are for, as if it's like an additional... <clears throat> hmm, I'll have to look. I'll have to see if I can figure that out and, and and try and see if that's if that's actually accurate or not. Um but that's a theory of mine. I uh, I don't remember seeing that before, but there's it, it exists there and then it exists here as a level 3 depreciated with a with a minus point uh point 2. So well anyways, there it is. Um, but yeah, so 60% uh, damage reduction while you're spinning or plus 25% movement speed while you're spinning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into a game and take a look at what it looks like and maybe some really interesting ways to use it. Now, when you use the Dwarven Hammer, this is what it looks like. Spin around, do damage to everything. This is on apprentice mode, by the way, but I just... Yeah, so, so as you can see, uh, you can really clump up units. Like, if you just stand there, they'll all kind of clump up on you. Which is r really, really good uh, for what we're about to do. Now, while they're uh, launched, right, while they're in the air, they take double damage, of course. Um, but on top of that, they uh, 
they lose their aggro so then you can pull up more and more units in that are smaller units so you really can grab a lot of different guys and put them in the same small area but we're going to see something here in a second i'm going to show you this map is, is is pretty good with the hammer i got to admit um taking out any of the smaller units um yeah i mean it's 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 just good now the left mouse button it's a little slow and it can miss a little bit but um but yeah, running this, with, especially with Trinkets like Jar of Ghost, I mean, you really keep a lot of aggro on you um, all together. So, oh, I didn't even realize. There we go. That's what I should have been doing. Gotta hide behind this wall and let this archer out. Alright, check this out. You ready? Nope, whoops, <laughs> no. All right, so check this out. I'm I'm Kelsey, and I'm standing on the edge. Ogre charges, he gets feared. Well, okay, I ran out of mana, but anyways. <clears throat> All right, well that wasn't a very good example, but, but essentially you can stand next to it you can stand next to the edge, and then you can spin in the Dwarven Warhammer. Since it pulls them, you can like spin every once in a while in pulses, and that'll kind of push them off of the edge with you just standing there uh, doing the doing doing the Dwarven spin. Um, <clears throat> so I hadn't tried it with Kelsey. I thought maybe that would be a good idea. Her levitate takes too much mana. You know, I was like slightly sliding over a little bit, and it's just taking too much mana. So um, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe not that great, but but still. Anyways, you know it it, it it's useful for that. Um, like I said, it can it can pull and drop aggro, and it does some pretty decent damage. Uh, it's it's a low ticks of damage, so these lizard guys uh, get affected by it. Flyers um, take damage from it. Uh, I don't know what happens to flyers. Let's find out. Okay, so it just knocks them around. Okay. Well, there you go. That's what happens to flies. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. All right. Anyways, guys, um, that's really all I have for the Dwarven Hammer. You know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I remember, fun story about it. It's the very first thing I purchased when I played the game on Stadia. And it's one of the last things I purchased when I played the game on Steam. <laughs> um, I thought it was... It, I know it was the first thing because I remember buying it i'm like that looks cool and then i used it and then i didn't like it very much and i'm like ah dang it i can't refund purchasing the the weapon um but i think it has a place you know i think it does have a place obviously for for some people melee kind of falls behind range as far as usefulness and utility but yeah it's for sure a fun weapon and uh you know i, I don't think it needs to be improved at all i just think that that melee needs to maybe be better i don't know you have trinkets to help i guess so maybe not i don't know you guys tell me do you use the dwarven hammer do you not use it why why not let me know if you have any uh cool tips or tricks for anybody in the comments if you're looking for any information check the comments as well as the wiki page as always that's up to date every time i do one of these i check the wiki page before i start that way i can make sure that the information i give to you is also accurate within the wiki page I have found a few discrepancies, but not very, not very often. Um, that being said, guys, um, as always, a new thing I'll be having to say. I got to come up with a new ending. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow. I stream on Twitch and then upload to YouTube. I'll be doing that for the time being, uh, and I will catch you on the flip side. All right, deuces.